That's it. Why in few schooners and see how we go tomorrow. Yeah, it was a tricky day. Uh, we had a pretty decent day uh, winning the first race pretty easily, uh, but still quite stressful. Second race, we sort of coughed it up down the first run, which is a bit annoying, but you know, I'm sure there's many more stories of woe out there. I don't think anyone would have been on the right side of that all day today. So we're really happy with you know how today went, and you know to keep you know circulating, you know close to the top or on the top, just you know puts us in good shape for the rest of the regatta. So you know we're looking forward to tomorrow, and hopefully we can get out there and get the job done. It's so like anywhere you go, you've got to race in what you're given, and that's what we've been given. So you know we did travel. 4,000 kilometres across the country to come over for the doctor and beautiful sea breezes. And we've got uh, like sailing on Sydney Harbour and a westerly, but anyway, we'll just deal with it. And, uh, you know, we're enjoying ourselves and working hard, and, you know, we're happy with how the boat's going. So, see what happens. Well, we got uh, we, we were on the lifts instead of on the knocks compared to race one. <laughs> Tell you what, it was really, really, it was brutal out there. Massive shifts, so some cases, air coming down from the heavens, you know, auto tack, you're laying in the mark on one, this is going up wind, you're laying in the mark on one tack, and then boom, you're laying it on another tack. But we, uh, we were on the right side of the shift, second race, and that, um, we're able to play the game, which is terrific. I oh, look, it's just the, the quality of the competition, the quality of the people, you know, it's fab fabulous, um, you know, from all around the world here, here in, in Fremantle. Uh, and it is just one of these uh, red hot boats, you know, that you cross someone by half a metre, you know, and that's a big clearance, uh, you know, going upwind. So the competition is sensational. It's, it's the best one design racing in Australia, for, you know, from my perspective. And, uh, you know, because the Olympics are really offshore, they, they travel around the world, so we don't really see that. So. The Itchel tends to be the Olympic class in the non-Olympic years, except that we have, you know, obviously the Olympic Games, uh, you know, in, in this, this year around. But the competition, the, you know, the people, the young people on these boats, they're very, very good operators and um, they're very, very keen from, you know, spread throughout the fleet. And we're getting a lot more girls involved too, which is great. And those girls, you know, they swim the boats and there's no, they're not holding back, you know, they're doing everything. So it's. It's, it's just a pleasure to be involved, yeah.